Walt Disney presents the Disney Legends. Since 1987, the Walt Disney Studio has been honoring people who've made significant contributions to the Disney legacy. I want you to meet Mary Blair. She was Walt's favorite artist. Although you've seldom seen her drawings on the screen, stylist Mary Blair was one of the most influential artists at Disney. And of course, Small World, something that everybody in the world by now will remember is a very Mary Blair kind of a look. Mary Robinson was born in 1911. Her natural talents were so apparent, her poor family occasionally cut down on food in order to buy her art supplies. She achieved an art scholarship, which led to joining the California Watercolor Society. There, she married fellow artist Lee Blair in 1934. For financial reasons, Lee chose an animation career beginning at UB Iwerks Independent Studio. Lee became a color supervisor at Disney in 1938. His wife Mary followed in 1940 to create story sketches. However, she quit after a year to resume painting. But when Lee was chosen for Walt's research team to South America, she asked to go too. Walt welcomed her back, and it was during this study trip that her bold, unique style emerged. She was proud of this scene from The Three Caballeros. It would be one of the few times her clever designs actually reached the screen intact. She also developed her now characteristic sketches of children. For 10 years, her inspirational drawings continued to shape the scenic designs and fanciful uses of color in Disney animation. A color sense ironically aided by her poor eyesight, Walt once said she used colors he didn't even know existed. In fact, Walt praised her work to the point of resentment by a few other artists. Walt would tell them to get Mary's work on the screen, but it was nearly impossible to make her style stylized flat images move in the rounded Disney style of the time. Just before the release of Peter Pan in 1953, Mary resigned to pursue other art interests in New York, where Lee was then working. Walt personally asked Mary to return in 1963 to design the It's a Small World attraction. We start this way, making a preliminary sketch. Then we make a model to scale. She loved having her concepts used in three dimensions. Her Disney career ended when she completed the projects Walt had given her before his death in 1966. Mary died in 1978, leaving an indelible mark on Disney classics. And she will always be legendary for capturing the simple innocence of children around the world. Just a great, great talent.